Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at a classic craft beer. This one is from Anchor Brewing out of California. This is their Old Foghorn, which is a barley wine, 8.8%. And guys, this is actually the first American brewed barley wine. So this is really the beer that started the American style barley wine, the super hopped over the top kind of multi barley wine, getting away from the English style. It's a year round offering from them, finally got it. So I'm really looking forward to it, if nothing else, as a history lesson for myself. So let me get into a glass that you guys know how it smells, tasting you the verdict in Anchor Brewing's Old Foghorn. All right, so the appearance on the Old Foghorn, it's a murky kind of dark brown, um, ruby red mahogany on there. Uh, there was a nice, about a finger, finger and a half of an off-white, yellowish tinted head, nice tight white bubbles on there, kind of a fluffy looking head, decent amount of head lacing. The head is dissipating pretty quickly though at 8.8%. That is something that's gonna happen there. A uh, decent amount of clarity, I can see some of the light through it, lots of, of tiny bubbles, uh, carbonation coming off the bottom of the glass. Yeah, it just looks like a classic, classic barley wine. All right, the aroma on the old foghorn. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just, Big raisins, sugary plums, caramel, like a burnt sugar kind of characteristic in there. Big, big malts to it, a sweet sugary malt, molasses. A slight touch of a fruity ester, um, definitely from the yeast strain that they're using. It's a light kind of uh, fruit punch character in there. Definitely getting a little bit of the alcohol, um, not too much, definitely blended a lot by the, the malts. Yeah, again, it just smells like a classic American style barley wine. All right, guys, some taste on the old foghorn. Cheers. Wow, yeah, not, wow, it's nice. Right there from the tongue, there's a big, sweet, sugary, molasses, caramel, uh, burnt sugar type of, t type of taste. Um, a little bit of hop bitterness in there. I'm getting like a sweet kind of fruity hop bitterness, a little bit of pine, a little bit of that West Coast kind of hot crispness right in the front of the tongue there. Middle of the mouth, this thing just blows up. I mean, it's just big, sweet, bready malts, toffee, again, caramel, sweet, sugary, syrupy kind of bready notes in there. Really just coats the mouth. Nice carbonation though. The carbonation does move that sweetness along. Um, pulls kind of some of the bitterness from the hops in the middle of the mouth to the middle, I'm sorry, to the front of the mouth to the middle of the mouth to help kind of blend those characteristics. And the finish on this one, it's got that West Coast kind of semi-dry, semi-sweet finish, aftertaste, more of a, a grapefruit, pine needle kind of finish, more of the sweet malts, breadiness. 8.8%, you do taste some of that alcohol, you do kind of feel it, but it's not overwhelming at all, and it really helps to kind of cut some of the malt uh, backbone in this one. It's a massive, massive beer, and it's really, really cool to see, to have this beer and kind of taste where that, where that style evolved from. It's awesome, awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Anchor, Old Foghorn, 8.8% barley wine ale, available year-round from them. Guys, I'm gonna give this one an A-. minus. It is really, really cool to have a beer like this and know the history. You know, first brewed in 1975, the first American-style barley wine with big hops, big malts. They were the first ones doing this, you know, over 30 years ago. And to think about that, to put that in perspective, it's just, I mean, it's just mind blowing. An A minus, yes, in today's terms, in today's barley wine terms, but this is an A plus beer as far as a historical beer, as far as an important beer. With that said, guys, gonna get an A minus from me. Definitely check it out because of its historical value, if nothing else. So, and remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.